What is up, guys? So, yesterday, I was on Discord, the Wayfinders Discord, to be exact, precisely. What's the word I'm gonna use? But look, we were on Discord, okay? I was in a party with with Envy, and I was in a party with Ayo, and we decided to talk about the black box, and that's what we're gonna talk about. And I'm gonna tell you what we were all talking about with the black box for Kingdom Hearts. Because the black box is something very important. But no one knows what the fuck's in it. So we sat on a little chat. And we were just bullshitting. And the black box, of course, started out with Lushu. And Lushu, you know, was caught pulling it behind him at the end of back cover. Yeah. But in all seriousness, though, right, that was way before we even knew that this one-eyed willy looking motherfucker was actually Lushu. So we got some theories, bro. So once we found out that Lushu was actually Zigbar, we were like, okay, there could be multiple things in this box that could be very important. So then we're just shooting stuff left and right. Like, it could be this, it could be that. But we don't really know what's going to be in the box. Because we're going to have to wait so long to find out what's in the box. Unless they put this in DLC. Which I doubt it, guys. I doubt it. Envy's ass thinks that Yen Sid's ugly ass, since he was giving the outfits to Riku and Sora, you know how, like, he was explaining how, like, every game... Your outfits have different abilities, which makes sense. But Envy was saying some shit like, Yo, the box has a whole bunch of clothes for all of the other leaders from Union Cross. And I'm like, what? The foretellers don't need no new clothes. Did you see the shit they rocking, bro? They literally got whole cloaks, masks. You don't need nothing, bro. You don't need none of that shit. I do want to say, though, with the information we do have on the box, which is, like, literally fucking nothing. So, since we have nothing on the box, Envy's idea could have really been a what is a good idea. If you really think about it, it's just... All we can do is make theories on what is in this box. So... Eventually, you just get some off-the-wall stuff. His idea isn't really off-the-wall. You can fit a bunch of different clothes in there. But would they really... Like, this is the thing. I feel like if somebody watches that scene in a game, or just plays the game and, and sees what's in the box, and then they're like, oh my god, it's clothes. I'd be disappointed, bro. Then we got to thinking, like maybe in the box, maybe, just maybe, maybe it's Sora's mom because his little bitch ass literally got up out of bed, jumped out a window, decided to just leave his family, never come back, never come visit. He never visits. He went back and never visited his mom. Me, Envy, and AO were sitting there like, what the fuck? Shout out to all the moms out there. But he dead ass like left his house, jumped out a window, because he decided that he was going to just go and just have an adventure. I gotta go save Riku on the beach. And maybe they're leaving. I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna up and leave the family. And 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 that's it. But this is where I'm getting at. I know there are some crazy ass mothers out there that will hop in a box to get to their children. I know they are. But really, he left for her. And it really had me thinking, like, bro, was it worth it? Kyrie couldn't swing her keyblade. She had a fucking keyblade and did not swing it. And then you know what happens? You left your mom. You left your dad. Just to see your bitch get slashed, bro. Just to... What? What? Was it worth it? Visit your mom, bro. All she wanted you to do was get dinner. But honestly, just getting back to the 
black box itself. There's so many different possibilities with Kingdom Hearts on what could be in the box. I mean, we were talking about how maybe it could be a heart of some sort. Um, but the heart, saying King, like a heart in Kingdom Hearts means so many different things because a heart isn't technically a heart in Kingdom Hearts. So what could possibly be in a box? There could possibly be the outfit. Envy could be right, but we just don't know yet. We don't know exactly what the box entails. I mean, there could be literally nothing in the box, and I, I was joking about that last night with them, and AO was just like, you know, that would be shitty, you know? I, I think Envy said the same thing. That would be, like, effed up if they did that, but how many times have things been like that? Uh, not, not in Kingdom Hearts in general, but, like, like in, in things before. Like, like, what if this is nothing to do with anything? What if this is something specifically for the next series, you know? Or not next series, but the next part in Kingdom Hearts. Like, these are things you gotta think of because, you know, I just, I think maybe we will be learning more with the release of Remind. You have to, rem like, like reminders, you have to remind yourself. <laughs> yeah, no, but, but honestly, like, literally, like, with the release of Remind, I'm hoping that they touch up on this topic because the black box was something that we already knew about before Kingdom Hearts 3 even came out. And when it did come out, we seen it once. And then that was basically it, bruh. Like, that was basically it. So, to me, I honestly don't know what the box is. I mean, there really could be something serious in this box. Like, something that is the reason why we got the original games, you know what I mean? Like, the, it could be something very important. I mean, it, t it has to be important because it's coming from, you know, Key. It's coming from Union Cross. Like, this is something way before Sora was even running away from his mother's dinner. Like, to be honest, like, this is something... It, it should be big. But honestly, what if it's just the... The book. What, what if it's just the book? I mean, it, it could be anything. And at this point, don't get your hopes up, guys. Because if you get your hopes up, you're probably going to get disappointed. But then again, you might not. You never know. What I'm trying to say is we just got to sit back, relax, wait another 12 years, and we'll find out what's in that box, all right? Because, you know, that's how long it takes them to make one of these games. That's a joke. They can they can do this a lot faster now that they got the stuff they need to do this. But I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Tell me what you guys think is in this box. This is just a little fun video just to tell you guys the conversation I had last night. We were just joking around about this fucking box. And I just had to bring this out to you guys. I thought you would love to hear the scenarios that we were talking about and the bullshit we were talking about. Um... So remember to leave this video a huge like, subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, we're doing a bunch of giveaways. The only way to get any of my giveaways is to make sure you subscribe by hitting that subscribe button down below. Also, um, if you want to join the Wayfinders, which is the group for Unicross I'm in, you can go ahead down in the description box, hit our Discord link. Once you're in a Discord, we can set you up in the Unicross groups that best fits the way you play Unicross because we have hardcore, casual, JP groups. We the shit, man. If you want to join, you can do so by hitting that link down there. Also down there is a bunch of links to other channels, and those channels are actually the content creators in the Wayfinders. So if you want to check out any of those, you can do so uh, whenever you feel like doing so. And you can also now donate to our Patreon. So if you want to donate to the channel, you can do so. Um, it's not necessary. I always tell you guys that. But it does help me fund the videos of me doing DIY videos and art videos and stuff like that. When I create things for you guys, that helps me fund those videos. So it does help. And I appreciate those of you that have donated to the channel and those of you that are thinking about it and those of you that don't even care about donating and just sub. You smash that sub button. You smashing them like buttons on my, my videos. You guys are the best. So I love you all. And as always, let your hearts be your guiding keys. Bye.